on my channel, please make sure you hit like, subscribe, and also hit the notification bell. Today, we're going to see what type of effects different fuel and oil additives have on different types of gaskets in your vehicle. The fuel and oil additives that we'll be looking at today are Marvel Mystery Oil, STP Motor Treatment, Seafoam, Tecron Concentrate Plus Complete Fuel System Cleaner, B12 Chem Tool, Gum Out Multi Purpose Tune Up, and Regular 87 Octane Fuel. The types of gaskets that we'll be using for the test are Fluoroelastomer, which can be found in fuel injector O rings, Silicone, which can be found on oil filter gaskets as well as cork, which can be used for fuel pump gaskets, as well as valve cover gaskets. Here you can see that I'm preparing each of the gaskets for the test. I already have eight fuel injector O-rings, so I'm going to go and place one in each of the eight containers. Next, I'm going to cut the oil filter gasket into eight equal sections and place one in each of the containers. And lastly, I'm going to cut eight equal sections out of the cork gasket and place them in there as well. All right, the gaskets are prepped. Let's go ahead and start the test. Just to clarify, the Marl Mistral, STP, Seafoam, and Gum Out are all both fuel and oil additives, while the Tecron and B12 are only for fuel. The container with the gasoline, as well as the empty container, are for control reasons only and are there for comparison later. As you can see, I'm not real concerned with how much fluid is actually in each container, as long as all the gaskets are submerged. Some of the things I'll be looking for while conducting the test are things like the gaskets breaking down, changing color, shape, or size. Basically, I'm wanting to see if there's any change at all compared to the gaskets that are just in gasoline or the gaskets that are not in any fluids at all. Throughout the test, we're going to check back twice. The first time at the 24-hour mark and the second time at the one-month mark and see if there's any changes. Alright, so it's been 24 hours. Let's go ahead and do our first inspection. With just a visual inspection, I do see several gaskets that do have differences. First, we're going to start out with the Marvel Mystery OL. Well. Upon visual inspection, I did not see any differences, as well as the physical inspection. Everything seemed to be the same. Everything was solid. Went on to the STP, and everything seemed the same as well. Nothing visually or physically different. Finally, when I got to the sea foam, I didn't notice a difference. It looks like some of the ink off of one of the gaskets was actually floating inside the sea foam. Right here, I'm going to show you where the blue ink came from. It appears it came off this gasket and it was floating in the seafoam. Other than that, there didn't seem to be any other physical differences than from before. Somehow I accidentally skipped over the Tecron in the 24-hour test, but I'll make sure I get to it at the one-month test. Okay, now onto the B12. The gaskets with the B12 had the most visual as well as physical differences out of all the additives. Here I'm going to compare it side by side with our control gasket. As you can see, the fuel injector O-ring with the B12 has almost doubled in size. I'm also going to compare it to the oil filter gasket. B12 is not recommended in the crankcase, so this part will be for demonstration purposes only. Now onto the cork gasket. This has had the biggest physical difference out of all of them. The gasket actually split in two. Remember, B12 is recommended to be put into the gas tank, which in some vehicles you can find cork gaskets on the fuel pump. Finally, onto the gum out, there do not appear to be any visual or physical changes. The gaskets with the 87 octane fuel didn't have any changes as well. So what did you think about the 24-hour test? Did you see anything you wasn't expecting? Was there something you was expecting that you didn't see? Let me know down in the comments. To see the video for the one-month test, make sure that you like and subscribe as well as hit the notification bell. It will be coming out soon.